We are racing a virus, and the government gave it a head start. Salmon farming came to Canada from Norway in 1986. Now, 30 years later, over 100 Atlantic salmon farms are sited on the coast of British Columbia, and we find our wild salmon are in collapse. The inherent problem with crowding millions of animals into feedlots is that diseases flourish. Since only nets separate millions of farmed Atlantic salmon from wild salmon, diseases are flowing freely into the wild salmon migration routes. This is a story of one of the biggest industry cover-ups of our time, with a virus at the heart of it. Pycine rheovirus is a highly contagious blood virus that causes the heart disease HSMI in salmon. When Pycine rheovirus was discovered in Norway in 2010, the salmon farming industry immediately stopped importing Atlantic salmon eggs into BC, but by then it was too late. Dr. Gary Marty is in charge of farm salmon health in BC. When his confidential disease records were released, they provided us with the first hint that Pycine rheovirus had spread to BC. My name is Alexandra Morton. I have published 26 scientific papers on the impact of salmon farming in BC, and this is when I began testing for Pycine rheovirus. I co-published the first scientific paper on this virus in BC, presenting the evidence that it was from Norway, and Norwegian scientists agreed. Dr. Marty, other government scientists, and the Norwegian salmon farming giant Marine Harvest disagreed. They published three papers claiming that Pycine rheovirus does not come from Norway and does not cause the heart disease, HSMI. My co-authors and I corrected them. Pycine rheovirus is from Norway. And Dr. Christy Miller corrected them. Pycine rheovirus is, in fact, causing the heart disease, HSMI, in BC. They were wrong on both counts. Dr. Gary Marty reacted by firing an email at Dr. Miller, staking the claim that he was, in fact, the first one to discover HSMI in BC eight years ago. But he never published this finding because the salmon farmers had reassured him that their fish were behaving normally, and he took their word for it. This is how Pycine rheovirus was never classified as a disease agent in Canada, despite the classic symptoms of HSMI in BC farm salmon. Today, Dr. Gary Marty's lab is under investigation for conflict of interest. Canadian law prohibits transfer of fish infected with a disease agent into the ocean. Therefore, to legally farm salmon in BC, Pycine rheovirus would have to be classified as harmless, which is exactly what the government industry papers tried to do. I sued the Minister of Fisheries for not screening for Pycine rheovirus and won. However, Minister Fisheries Dominique LeBlanc refuses to comply with this court order, so I sued him again. This time, the industry teamed up with LeBlanc in court to fight the law, revealing that they would be severely impacted because the majority of their fish are infected with Pycine rheovirus. As this court case grinds into its fifth year, infected farm salmon continue to pour into BC salmon farms. This is exactly what everyone was afraid of when Atlantic salmon were first imported to BC. A foreign virus would spread and infect wild Pacific salmon. In 2017, I published that wild salmon exposed to salmon farms are far more infected than salmon distant from salmon farms. Of greatest concern, wild salmon infected with Pycine rheovirus appear to be too weak to swim up river to spawn. But the good news is, salmon farm tenures begin to expire in June 2018. Since the Minister of Fisheries is not upholding the laws of Canada, the fate of wild salmon has fallen on the shoulders of Premier John Horgan, who is faced with the decision whether or not to renew these salmon farm tenures. Just north of the border, where salmon farms are banned, wild salmon runs are enormous. Just south of the border, the Washington State Senate just voted to prohibit Atlantic salmon farming.
Here in BC, First Nations have been occupying salmon farms for six months, demanding they be removed. With the clock ticking towards extinction of BC wild salmon, we're racing a virus and the government gave it the head start. This is the last stand for wild salmon. Now you know why. <laughs>